Well, it is opening day of rifle here in Pennsylvania, and uh, Slava crew is getting ready to head out to the tree stands. We'll see what happens this morning. Well, it's the morning everybody waits for all year long, opening day of rifle season here in Pennsylvania. And uh, I've had an awesome morning already. I had a little eight point come through right when I got up in the tree stand. I didn't have my camera set up or anything, but he walked right past me. And then right up the same trail, a, a really nice, decent uh, six point. It looked like he had a couple points broke off, but he came up through. I got a great video of him. And, uh, and I had five doe come through, but anyway, I think I just heard Slava shoot about freaking jumped out of the tree stand. That was loud, but uh, yeah, my phone's going off. Yup, Slava just shot one. And he's up in the enclosed stand on the field edge, so I'll be bringing, bringing that uh, to you here in a little bit. I don't know what he shot or how big he was yet, but if he shot it, it's a good buck. We'll sit here and see if anything else comes busting down through here. Well, I'm going to give you guys a little update here. It's uh, about 9 o'clock in the morning. And... Uh, I'm up to nine does now, and I've seen three bucks. I had a buck. I 
looked up, I heard, ch -ch -ch -ch, and I looked up, and I could see a buck. It was coming right at me. It was only 40, 45 yards away from me up here in this tornado debris. So I obviously went right for the camera to get the camera on it. I opened the camera and grabbed my gun and looked back up, and I couldn't find it. I couldn't see it anymore. And I never saw it again. I never heard it run. I never, it was just gone. It just vanished as a ghost buck. I've never, I couldn't believe it. So then I figured it might have just bedded down right there. And I sat and waited and waited and waited and it, it's gone, it's not there. I don't know if it was a shooter or not. I mean, it definitely had horns, but. And then about 15 minutes, 20 minutes later, you hear a lot of racking up here in the woods and a real nice bear came down through here running. It got bumped or pushed or something and came down this hillside and down into this bottom and milled around just out of sight, I could hear it down in there, but I couldn't get him on video. He was, by the time I seen him and where he was, he was already down in the bottom, but looked like a 200 pound bear, nice bear. We'll see what else is, uh, what else we can find in here this morning. Well, it is 11 o'clock in the morning now, and I uh, was just getting around ready to go, and I seen some deer coming up to the bottom. I just literally had like 16 or 17 deer come up in here all at the same time. It, a whole herd. I've never seen that many deer at the same time in one tree stand, like together. Three of them were bucks, two spikes and a six point. And then they came and milled around in here. I got it all on my GoPro. I couldn't really video. I couldn't move. I mean, I had eight mature does within 40 yards of me. I mean, that was, <laughs> you don't see stuff like that very often in New York. That was, that was crazy. So, all in all, this morning so far, I've seen six bucks and like 25 doe. That's why you come to Pennsylvania for opening morning rifle season. Crazy. I've never, I don't think I've ever in my life seen this many deer out of a tree stand. Crazy. I just didn't see the right buck. I had a pretty nice eight point come under me first thing this morning probably 17 inches wide, just short tines. I think a two and a half year old deer, not what I'm looking for. And then I had that really big six point come up to me this morning, about 15 yards. And then he went on his way. Let's go check out what Slava got up here. Slava Farms, as you know, it's open day of the Pennsylvania rifle season, and I just uh, showed you my hunt where I seen over 30 deer and 
six different bucks. It was an unbelievable morning. One of the best mornings I've ever had in a tree stand without actually pulling the trigger. But uh, I heard uh, one have it up here on the field this morning, and Slava man let this big three and a half year old eight point have it. Let him eat. The second buck I saw in the morning, he was a two doe. Came out and used the 375 Ruger this morning, and he never took another step. Nope, he laid right here, and then tell him what. All the other deer that came out, dude. Uh, after I let him lay right here, called Paul and told him to come sit with me, and we didn't want to mess the area up. And every deer that came out to feed came up and licked this thing. It's crazy, crazy. We saw 27 deer total this morning. Four bucks. This was the only, the only shooter of the bunch so far. But it's early. You never know what can happen. Get up there with Uncle Robert. What do you think, Papa Slava? Pretty nice buck. Nice buck. Nice hey, buck. Get up there with Uncle Robert. <laughs> Yeah. Found it dead in the woods, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Kyle? Not too bad. Okay, so we all just came in and had some awesome Papa Slava chili in there. And uh, we're going to go see what we can find this evening. There's Papa Slava himself right there. <laughs> but uh, Slava was the lucky man this morning up in the shanty. I seen a ton of deer as you can see on the video. Just no uh, shooter bucks for me. We'll see what happens this evening. I bet somebody sees something and uh, something could very well die. We'll find out. Well, Slava and I are sitting in the enclosed stand this evening overlooking this green field out here. This is where Slava dumped his big eight point this morning. We're going to see what happens this afternoon. Maybe Same field where you killed your big one. Yep, this is the same field that I killed my big nine point over last year with uh, the crossbow. So we'll see uh, if one comes out here tonight that uh, we decide to shoot. Okay, so the buck that Slava shot this morning, we've been uh, trying to figure out what deer it is. And without a shadow of a doubt, it's a deer that's been on the property all summer long and all fall long. We've got a bunch of trail cam pictures of them of him. That one right there is a velvet picture of the buck he shot this morning. And that was on the food plot, wasn't it? No, that was at the far stand where you sat this morning. Oh, so that was down in the timber a little ways. And then this picture is a picture of him and... He's the one in the back. Right there. Yeah. And that's in the beginning of October? Uh, end of September. End of September, yeah. So this has been, that deer was really a homebody. He never really left the property. He's been bouncing back and forth. I really didn't get that many trail cam pictures of him though. Only have a dozen, you know, maybe 15, nothing. But all the pictures, he's got cameras all over this property and pretty much all the pictures of him have been consolidated, consolidated right in this area. So it seems like this was kind of his his turf and he didn't really ever want to leave it till Slava gave him a dirt nap this morning. <laughs> I'd never even seen that deer in real life doing field work or anything on a tractor, nothing. Which is kind of surprising. Usually I at least get a glimpse of him. Yeah. And it was kinda of odd this morning. He wasn't he wasn't pushed out here. He was just doing his his own thing. He was with two does and Slava said he seen him in the woods. And uh, he was watching him, and at first he didn't think he was a shooter. He thought he was a two-and-a-half-year-old deer, and he, he got out to the field, and he could see the pot belly on him and got a good look at the at the horns and knew what buck it was and knew that it was a three-and-a-half-year-old and it was a deer that we wanted to kill. So, uh, And he was just eating in the field. He, uh, he made it tough right when he came out. That was when the sun was coming over the trees and didn't have my sunglass or nothing because... Typical weatherman lied and said cloudy overcast all day, except for this morning. It was pretty, pretty nasty. He made a about a 140 yard shot or 150 yard shot with his 375. Yeah, 375 Ruger. So Buck never flinched. I mean, down, right there, and out. So. We're, sit we're still sitting here right now, it's about 3.30, and uh, 
hopefully one walks out here. Yeah, we were in the afternoon wall there right after lunch. No shots, nothing exciting happening, but now it's just about go time, so. Yep, we'll bring you the action. I saw one buck, four point, right at five o'clock. Nice. I didn't see a buck though. There you go. What'd you see, Cooter? Zero. What? That one deer. You didn't see a deer. Not Did you deer. hear a deer? Nope, didn't even hear a deer. I saw a squirrel. Holy shit. Or two. Oh, you fall. Well, four does. Three unknown. They were running so fast, couldn't oh, tell. Yeah, huh. And I saw a squirrel fall out of a tree. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, it's pretty funny. Well, Slava, seen, Slava and I seen seven doe, as you could see in the video. So, Pennsylvania opening day has come and gone, and Slava scored, and we all didn't. And we have a Brent Buck training for the Olympics. He was doing laps around the hayfield. Yes, he was. Well, that's a wrap for our opening day of uh, Pennsylvania, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll be bringing you more action soon. Thanks for watching.